In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Good people of God, you are listening to Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Saturday, the 21st of October, 2023. It is Saturday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time, Church Year A. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 4, verse 13 and verses 16 to 18. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 105. The response to the psalm is, The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The gospel is taken from St. Luke, Chapter 12, verses 8 to 12. I read from the Gospel. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Everyone who acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But he who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And when they bring you before the synagogues and the rulers and the authorities, do not be anxious about how or what you are to answer or what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is The Holy Spirit is a daily companion through life. Make use of Him. The Holy Spirit is a daily companion through life. Make use of Him. Dear friends in Christ, today's gospel passage explains to us the power of the Holy Spirit, His presence in our lives, and the work of witnessing that He helps us to do every day. We cannot witness without the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit empowers us. He sustains us. He inspires us. In fact, were we to do anything good in the course of the day, it is thanks to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. But how many of us do recognize His presence, do accept Him as a daily companion, and make use of His wise counsel? Remember, Jesus had said the Holy Spirit will come and teach us all truth. They will know all truth. Jesus told the apostles, with the presence of the Holy Spirit, they will know all truth, for he will teach them. John chapter 14, verse 26. Not only to know, they will defend the truth. And following from that, again, Jesus presents to us this very good gift of the Holy Spirit. Firstly, he says, Whoever acknowledges him before the world, he too will acknowledge such one before the angels of God. How can we acknowledge God before the world? It is by showing to the world that we are Christians and by witnessing boldly. Jesus does not want us to be timid or to shy away. The world is what it is and evil seems to triumph over good because as Christians, we are too timid. 
There are times we have hidden our identity as Christians. We do not want to identify as Christians, especially when we wanted to do something evil or when we feared being challenged as Christians and we danced along with the evil rhythm. There are times that we even denied being Christians because we wanted to cheat, to bribe, or to extort. How many of us, when we wanted to do evil and we were reminded that we were Christians, we told the other, leave Christian for back. Enough of this Christian thing. We have told people like that because we wanted an umbrella to do the evil we wanted to do. Those moments that we did not witness boldly are the moments we did not acknowledge Christ in public. We were timid or ashamed to make the sign of the cross in a public burst or in a public place. In short, those times we buried our Christianity, those times we failed to stand up for the truth, for justice, for peace and for love, but rather we stood for hate, for war, for lies, falsehood and injustice. Today, Jesus tells us we have to be bold witnesses of the faith and valiant soldiers of Christ Jesus. And to do so, we need the Holy Spirit. This is what the sacrament of confirmation does. In that sacrament, we receive the Holy Spirit. He makes us soldiers of Christ and he endows us with his gifts and his fruits so that we may witness and defend the faith boldly to acknowledge Christ before the world and to be ready to die for him. Mindful of the fear and timidity in witnessing boldly before the world, Jesus assures the disciples of the presence, the power and the work of the Holy Spirit. He is there for bold witnessing and to empower. So Jesus tells them, and when they bring you before their synagogues, their rulers and authorities, do not fear. Neither should you be anxious about how to speak or what you are to say. The Holy Spirit at the appointed time will tell you exactly what to say. We need to trust the Holy Spirit and believe in Him. We need to accept Him as a daily companion. And we need to listen to Him to His wise counsel. Now, imagine that at the right moment, when the Holy Spirit told the apostles what to say, but they denied to listen to him, they would have landed themselves in trouble. So the Holy Spirit inspires us. He tells us exactly what to say and what to do, but do we listen to him? That is the work of the Holy Spirit. He is the inspirer. He is the consoler. He is the advocate. And he is the teacher of all truth. So if you tell lies, then the Holy Spirit, you have driven him away not to be a companion. The Holy Spirit is the one who aids us and enables us to be bold witnesses of Jesus Christ and the faith in the face of the world. The Holy Spirit aids us in our witnessing. For St. Paul says, the spirit we have is not a spirit of timidity or fear, but a bold spirit. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Are you a timid Christian? Do you shy away from your faith and from Jesus Christ? Do you boldly acknowledge that you are a Christian? Do you listen to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and do you act according to his prompt and wise teachings? Let us pray and beg God that he may help us with his graces always to listen to this wonderful friend he has given us as a daily companion, the Holy Spirit. Do not be afraid to witness, beloved. Do not fear the world and its systems. You have the Holy Spirit that has been given to you. Therefore, do not be afraid. Let us go out to be bold witnesses. Let us go out to challenge the systems we have, to challenge the evil that is in our world. Do not be afraid. The Holy Spirit is there with you. This message is very timely, especially tomorrow when we celebrate World Mission Sunday. We are all called to go out to evangelize with our hearts burning and our feet ready to be on the move. And do not be afraid to go out. Do not be afraid to go out on mission. The Holy Spirit is a companion. 
the Holy Spirit journeys with us to encourage us, to inspire us, and so there is no reason to fear. We thank God for this wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit, and we pray that we may make use of Him in our work of evangelization. May God bless you this weekend, and we wish each and every one of you a blessed Mission Sunday tomorrow. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. You have a very wonderful daily companion in the Holy Spirit. Make use of Him. <laughs>